Hello, Pancasters. Today, we have two special guests who are going to talk to us about scaling features in Prisma Access. We have with us Nurupendra Shrista from the product management team and Amit Srivastava, Director of SRE and DevOps. Welcome, Nurupendra and Amit. To start with, can you tell us a bit about yourselves? Hi, uh, I am Nirpendra, a JPEG Regional Product Manager for Prisma Sassi. I'm based in Japan, and I have been in this role for about two years now. As a Regional Product Manager, I own the Prisma Sassi product portfolio in JPEG Region, along with my colleagues who are based out of India. I have been working in the cloud, cybersecurity, and the compliance space for over a decade now. I have been a GIAC advisory board member since 2016. And before joining to Palo Alto Networks, I was a specialist solution architect for highly regulated industry customers at Amazon Web Services. Hi, this is Amit. I manage the SASE SRE customer operations team. I have been in the role for a year and a half now, and I'm responsible for all Prisma SASE customer operations from the infrastructure side, as well as my team is responsible for handling escalations from all customer facing teams. I have been with the network cloud and cybersecurity industry for over two decades now. Thank you, Nurupendra and Amit. So what is scaling and why do we need it? Scaling can mean different things, depending upon the context. In Prisma Access, when we say scaling, we mean the ability to increase or decrease the processing power of Prisma Access in order to process network traffic as required without an impact in the user experience. Even during the high traffic hours, users will not see any degradation in user experience, resilience, and security processing capability of Prisma Access. Bearing this in mind, Prisma Access has been designed to scale. To add, Prisma Access is a SaaS service, and we understand that any structure availability, including scaling up and scaling down events, should be transparent to our customers. Prisma Access infrastructure primarily consists of three types of processing nodes, mobile user gateway nodes, MU for mobile users, remote networks, IAN nodes for users at branch offices, and service connections, SC, for users to access private applications hosted at data centers. Mobile user gateways are able to scale out horizontally to provide processing power on demand. What that means is additional instances will be spawned once a threshold is breached. In contrast, Remote networks and service connection nodes do not scale ver- horizontally. They are designed to scale vertically instead for a pre- uh, predetermined traffic patterns. We plan to discuss uh, this in depth in a future episode. Great, thank you. What are the various ways we can scale in Prisma Access? First up, we have something called as horizontal auto scaling which means provisioning of new security processing nodes when the existing nodes experience high network traffic. This is also rightly termed as scale out. Incoming network traffic will be distributed to the new security processing nodes to share the additional traffic. Once the load on the network goes down, the nodes will be gracefully deprovisioned in a process termed as scaled in. This is an on-demand scaling model that is enabled by default for all our customers using Prisma Access mobile user gateways. Secondly, we have something called as scheduled auto scaling. This is recommended when we are fairly certain uh, when the network traffic is going to be high. Say, for example, uh, we expect the network traffic to peak between 9 a.m. and 12 noon. In this case, we recommend scheduled auto scaling. Here, the required security processing nodes will be spun up before the expected high traffic period and will be ready to use when the traffic hits the nodes. And in this way, there will not be any compromised user experience when there is high high network traffic because 
the security node will be ready to use before the high traffic period comes in. To utilize this feature, the customers will need to contact the respective customer facing Palo Alto network teams. Thirdly, we have something called as vertical auto scaling, which means replacing the existing nodes with a higher processing capacity nodes that is scaling up and scaling down the capacity of the security processing node. This is also enabled by default for all customers. Got it. What should we be aware of with scaling in Prisma Access? There are three things which come to the top of my mind. First, users should understand that whenever there is a scaling out or provisioning, there will be scaling in or deprovisioning. Be it on demand or scheduled scaling, during deprovisioning, some of the existing uh, sessions will be terminated. And these users may have to reconnect to Prism Access again. Second, to enable scheduled auto scaling, which we mentioned before, requires coordination led by Palo Alto Network's customer facing team. Third, whenever there is auto scaling, for each new processing node, a new public IP address gets assigned from the allocated pool of active and reserve IP addresses. So users are recommended to register all active and reserved IP addresses in their respective allow lists of SaaS, public or private applications. These IP addresses can be obtained from our API and we also support webhook. However, some SaaS applications or public cloud may have limitations that cannot be controlled by Palo Alto networks. For example, we have seen that AWS security group policy only allows registrations of up to 60 siders. And some SaaS applications only allow the registration of IP addresses instead of CIDRs. Some great info, thanks. I understand there are additional features like IP optimization. Can you tell us a bit more about this? Yes, I think we're, you're referring to our next generation Prisma Access infrastructure that is also called as NGPA. In this, we have two remarkable features coming up, namely Network Load Balancer or NLB, and egress network address translation, that is egress NAT. First up with NLB. Here we will be able to scale your mobile user gateway uh, security processing node behind a fixed public IP. Secondly, with NAT on the egress side, customers will be able to aggregate outgoing network traffic by using a fixed set of allocated IP addresses. This is a very desirable feature as as it elevates the problem of allow listing multiple egress IP addresses for mobile user gateways. This feature is available by default for all users running Prisma Access version 4.2 with a minimum data plane version of 10.2.4. For Brownfield customers, um, to move to NGPA will require a manual migration. In such cases, customers are required to contact their account team for guidance. Really great information, so thank you. It sounds like there is continuous evolution with scaling and Prisma Access. Yes, certainly. Uh, we have a continuous learning culture at Palo Alto. We have learned a lot from Prisma Access deployments globally, and Autoscale is no exception. We have put a lot of these learnings into Autoscale to enhance the customer's experience with our service. At a very high level, the new order scale conceptually separates the feature implementation into three services that run completely independent. First up, Trigger, Action, and Readiness. As the name suggests, Trigger is the service that monitors parameters like CPU, user sessions, to initiate the next service, which is the action. Let's talk about triggers here because that's different from the way it worked in the past. The new auto scale triggers are computed differently. And in this case, the data we use here is a combination of CPU metrics from all cores of MU instances in the entire region. This gives us a better understanding of the compute requirements 
and we can make a more informed decision about instant scale. Similarly, uh, as a part of scale down events, the algorithm now schedules instance deletions during off peak hours to eliminate forced logouts. Okay, so Nurupendra and Amit, what are the key takeaways for our listeners? Prisma access auto scales both vertically and horizontally. This is triggered by CPU and user spikes. We also have time based triggers to address on demand and predictive horizontal auto scale requests. Palo Alto Engineering has a culture of continuous improvement. As a part of this journey, we have recently released next generation IP optimization capabilities. Both our existing and new customers can take advantage of these managed services to optimize their SASE adoption and operations. We are listening to our customers' feedback for enhancements and improvements. We request you to provide your feedback through your Palo Alto Networks customer facing team. Thank you so much, Amit and Nurupendra, for sharing some really good information on scaling and Prisma access. For our Pancast listeners, as always, the transcript of this episode will be on live.paloaltonetworks.com and you will also find links related to this episode.